Alright guys, today on Man Cave Munchies I'm not going to cook because it's July 28th and it's too hot to cook. So what I'm going to show you how to do is make some really interesting dishes that require absolutely no heat whatsoever except for spicy. heat. So let me show you what we're going to start with today because one of the things that I like working with are these little devils right here, avocados. And I'm going to show you not only how to make a wonderful avocado dip, but I'm going to show you how to make a cool dessert out of this stuff. So stand by. All right, to get started, these are some of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a few avocados, you're going to need some tomatoes, you're going to need a lemon or lime, and you're going to need an onion. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dice this onion up. You don't have to worry about dicing it too, too fine because we're going to put all this into a food processor in order to make the uh, dip. So just kind of roughly dice them up and then have them ready to go. I've also sliced up the tomatoes. Once you've got this taken care of, then we're going to start peeling our avocados. So you're going to need one of these and you're going to need one of these. I like to just cut them in half and then what you do is they'll just pop off the seed and then we'll start scooping. There we have it. Comes a little bit of paper inside, you take that out there. What we're going to do is we're going to load it directly into this bad boy right here, which is our handy dandy Cuisinart. Don't be shy, just get in there and dig. Try not to dig out the rind, but you'll, you'll find out that you can peel these things right down to the bottom of the peel, so you've got almost nothing left inside. You don't want to waste a bit of it. Do get a bad piece like that, you just dig it out, keep on going. Because unless it's black, avocado can't be too ripe. Alright, All right, then to that we're going to add some of our onions. And again, you can do it to taste. It's totally up to you. I'm going to throw in some of our tomatoes here, and I've just sliced them down because, like I said, we'll let the Cuisinart do the heavy lifting. Piece, and I'm going to squeeze in about a half of one of these. And then you're going to want to add a little bit of seasoning to it. And what I'm going to use today is this stuff. It's called Gotta Have It, and you can get it from SpiceBlends.com. Shake a little bit of that in there. And we're going to close it up, and we're going to let it, literally let it whirl. Note to the Cuisinart company, put a longer extension cord on these puppies, would you please? And I like the pulse. So you can turn this thing into a nice dip. We want to nice and smooth, but we don't want to be able to drink it out of the straw. Okay, you'll also want to add a little salt and pepper to it. I like to use the nice Himalayan salt. This is also available online. And I'm going to throw a little bit of fresh pepper in there. We're going to give it another little hit and we're going to adjust our seasoning. Alright, let's taste it. Looks good. Mmm. Nothing like fresh homemade guacamole. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just want to let you see the beautiful job we did with the guacamole. And again, if you want it spicy, what I recommend you do everybody's tolerance for hot stuff is different. Choose some kind of hot sauce. I like this one. This is a verde sauce, so it's got the green chilies in it, which make it very good. But if somebody doesn't like the hot sauce, just making it like this will pretty much satisfy anyone. You can serve them with dips. You can serve them with uh, cut up vegetables. You can serve them with chips. Whatever you want. Now we're going to do something completely different with this bad boy. Right. 